Uh, cognitive impairment, when it does occur, is a vexing problem for patients with Parkinson's disease uh, and their families. And a lot of my patients want to know if there's any specific therapy that they can take so to address their cognitive symptoms when they do occur. Uh, in fact, there are a number of medications which are FDA approved for treating uh, cognitive problems in patients with Alzheimer's disease. Uh, and these medications can also be used uh, in patients with Parkinson's disease who have cognitive problems in spite of the fact that the pathologic basis for memory problems in Alzheimer's and Parkinson's are different. And in reality, uh, only a minority of patients with Parkinson's, even those that have cognitive problems, will have concurrent Alzheimer's disease. And the idea that Parkinson's will somehow turn into Alzheimer's disease uh, is a bit of a myth. Uh, nonetheless, in patients that uh, have Parkinson's disease and are beginning to have some problems with thinking and concentration and memory, uh, medications can be used as part of the solution. These, these medications uh, don't entirely reverse the symptoms of, of cognitive problems that people with Parkinson's have, but they can help and they're generally well tolerated. Uh, the medications that I use include um, the so-called cholinesterase inhibitors, uh, and these include um, Dinapazil, rivastigmine, and galantamine, uh, and also Nemenda can be used as well. Uh, and so this, these are the classes of medications that have, uh, can be used to treat cognitive problems in people with Parkinson's disease. Uh, smaller studies have been, used, have been done showing the efficacy of Dinapazil, and one large multicenter randomized study showed improvement in patients with Parkinson's and dementia who were treated with rivastigmine. Another important aspect of managing people medically that have Parkinson's disease and dementia is to make sure that they're not on excessive doses of medications which can actually impair cognition. And these include some anticholinergic medications that are used to treat tremor uh, and also anticholinergic medications that can be used for as either for sleep aids uh, or uh, for uh, bladder urgency. Uh, it's important to talk to your doctor and make sure that you're not on excessive doses of any of these uh, potential medica medications which can potentially uh, affect cognition.